Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a Benedict's test for reducing sugar in urine. And for this test, we will be needing a freshly collected sample of urine. We will also need Benedict's reagent glucose solution and we will be using two boiling tubes for our experiment first we will measure out two milliliters of our benedict solution and put in the boiling tube And then we add one milliliter of our freshly obtained urine. We will then put this mixture in a water bath and leave for 3 to 5 minutes while observing the color change. While waiting, we take the second boiling tube and we measure out 2 milliliters of Benedict's reagent as well. In this, we'll add 1 milliliter of glucose solution. And also we'll add into the water bath observe the color change of the contents in the boiling tube as the mixture is continuously heated so you will notice a color change from the blue color of the Benedict's reagent to green and then to brick red the brick red color indicates the presence of reducing sugars in the mixture. Remove from the heat and allow your mixture to cool slowly. A blue color indicates the absence of sugar while a green color indicates traces of sugar and the brick red means that there is a lot of sugar present in the sample normally urine contains very little or no glucose but if you have too much glucose in your blood your kidneys will get rid of some of the extra glucose through your urine so a high level of urine glucose may mean that your blood glucose is high and that could be a sign of diabetes. From the results we got, we could conclude that there is some traces of sugars in the urine sample. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video and if you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and come back for more fun videos. Bye bye!